Hey everyone, it's Gloria Shree Henry, and today we're gonna do Ask Gloria. Yeah. I asked you guys to ask me questions like months ago, and I just haven't filmed because I have felt depressed. And that's not even a joke. Okay, so I'm just gonna choose these at random. This one is from, ooh, enchilada salad. Did you find it hard moving from California to the UK? I'm in a similar relationship to yours and plan to move there in the near future. I'm close to my family and have never made such a big move. Were you scared when you and Ali moved? Any advice? I wasn't scared at all to move. It, it really did hit me when I moved here, um, how homesick I would, like, I had no idea how homesick I would get. It was definitely hard to um, up and leave my family and friends and everything that was familiar to me. So I like spiraled downward <laughs> and I was not in a good place for a while. Then I went to therapy and then I learned to like, I've dealt with it basically. The advice I would give you is to keep in touch with your family and friends as much as you want, <laughs> as much as you can, um, because that's really important. Depending on where you live, the time difference will make it difficult, but if you are doing it for, if you're moving over here for the right reasons, like, I don't know why you wouldn't be, but like, Good. Just remember the reasons you're wanting to live here. For me, it's because I wanted to start my life with Ali and I have no regrets. <laughs> people you want to hug and two people you want to punch, alive, dead, or fictional. <gasps> two people I want to hug and two people I want to punch, that might be easier. I want to punch a lot of people though. I would like to hug Tom Hiddleston. <laughs> Um, I would also like to hug, I would also like to hug Mr. Rogers. I, I really want to see the documentary, but I grew up watching um, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood when I was little, up until like I was in high school, because it was on TV in the mornings. People I want to punch, ooh. how much time do I have? I would like to punch Draco Malfoy for being an entitled little brat. I would also very much love to punch James Potter because who the hell actually likes James Potter? I want you to explain this to me, explain yourselves. Thanks. Kim Love says, says, what are some of your favorite kawaii games you play on your phone? I don't even, are there kawaii games other than Neko Atsuma because that's the only one I play and Pokemon Go. I don't know if those count. Mariana says, hey there Gloria, my question for you would be when you and Allie were long distance, was it always hard for you not to worry about what they were doing slash how they were? I, I think it depends on like the question, what you mean by it because there's two things. One is like just his well-being and the other is like, do I think he's cheating on me? Which is a question I get a lot or used to get a lot anyway. And the answer to the first, if I'm just generally worried about his well-being, um, yes, because the time difference made it scary. If I was awake, he'd be asleep or something or like if I was asleep, I don't know. There was always a point in time where we weren't talking <laughs> And I would be like, oh my gosh, I hope things are okay. Or like if he says he was gonna go somewhere and I didn't hear from him. I'm like this with all my friends and family though. If you tell me you're gonna be somewhere at a certain time and you're not there, I just worry about you because there's a lot to worry about in this world. People have also asked, did you ever worry about either of you being faithful and the answer is no. Uh, Allie and I had a friendship. Now that I think about it, I've never had trust issues with boyfriends before. I got cheated on once, but whatever. Clearly shouldn't have trusted that person. I've never had an issue with Allie and I think because we were friends for a long time first, we told each other everything, you know? Like we were so close and there was no need for us to lie to the other person. So I never had trust issues with Allie. Bombshell Boomer says, um, how do you deal with bouts of homesickness? I recently moved to the UK to be with my husband and there have been quite a few nights where I bawled my eyes out. I completely get that. There would be times where I would be so frustrated because I didn't have, like my friends wouldn't be awake or they'd be at work and I just couldn't vent to my friends when I, I wanted to at any time. If it was 6 p.m. in the States, it'd be like 2 a.m. here. So when people are getting off work, I'm going to bed and it's just, it was so difficult, but how I dealt with it was like, Ali is here with me, his family is here with me, like, I'll get along, like there are people who love me and those who are close to me will still be there. So keeping myself busy was definitely helpful. <laughs> and there were times where I couldn't keep myself busy and I just dwelled on my thoughts for hours and days or whatever, but I made it, I'm still here and I'm happy living in the UK and I don't want to leave Glasgow. Like I love it here. It just, it, it takes a while and it gets, it definitely gets easier. Um, but you're, you'll always still feel homesick at one point or another, sadly. Debbie says, will you be doing any gaming on your channel again? Like you did with Emily wants to play. It was hilarious and I loved it. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like this game. They don't care about me. They never loved me. Oh gosh, I can see why. Talk to me! Talk to me just
just talk to me. I'd like to, but let me tell you something about gaming videos. I don't like just uploading a large chunk where there's tons of dead air and I hardly talk when I play video games. So it's not like I'm gonna like, I don't know, other than me screaming, that's all you get from me playing video games. And I think watching me play video games can, uh, the unedited stuff is pretty boring in my opinion. Um, and also it takes just a really long time to do and I don't have the money to pay someone to edit my videos for me, so. But I don't have enough money for chicken nuggets. <laughs> Ooh, Billy the Kid Ken said, Hey girl, hey, what's your favorite go-to meal when you don't know what to have for dinner? Oh my gosh, so lately it's been curry, like oh, butter chicken and pakora and like water. Water? Yeah, I like water, but like rice. Indian food wasn't that big in San Jose that I know of. And the first time I ever had curry was in the UK when I first visited like six years ago. And it's just like my favorite, my favorite. I love spicy foods, but our chicken isn't exactly spicy or like hot, but um, it's got such good flavor. And I'm kind of, yeah, I'm not really a fan of like chunky vegetables. Emmy says, how do you deal with negativity and do you have any tips on doing so? And what's your favorite go-to makeup product? I'll do the makeup product one because that's easiest for me. Uh, Stila liquid liner and my Trinket lips, liquid lipstick by Sugar Pill. Sugar Pill is amazing. The negativity part is a little bit more complicated. I used to be able to brush it all off, but I think I mentioned this in a previous video um, when I was speaking to my therapist about this and I, how I just thought like I wasn't as strong as I used to be. She said like, if you chip away at something, eventually it's gonna break. Like, no, I'm not bulletproof. Like my feelings aren't bulletproof, do you know what I mean? So I think people forget that it's okay to be sad and it's okay to cry things out. And when people are negative about lots of stuff, even yourself, like it's okay to feel those feelings. You're stronger than you think. And I definitely experienced that myself. So definitely keeping busy is one of the things. And if you're getting hate on the internet, like, and I know not everyone can relate to this, but lots of people do get hate on the internet. It's easiest to retaliate and talk crap back to somebody. 99% um, of the time though, I block people and that's really hard because I do always want to say something back. I always want to like kind of put them in their place type situations, but it's just easier to block them, delete their comment and stuff like that. They're not in your face, then you don't have to worry about it sort of thing. And that's kind of like what I do with haters. Deb says, hi, I know how much you love the happiest place on earth, Disney. Which one is your favorite, Disney World or Disneyland? Uh, what's your must have snack there? Mine is the Mickey chocolate covered ice cream, I'm assuming. Um, must have at least once a day during a visit, XOXO. So this is my last question that I'm answering, but I love Disneyland because it's nostalgic for me and I love Disney World because that is where Allie and I spent our honeymoon and it's just huge and like the whole environment, especially if you stay at one of the resorts, it's just amazing. Like it's just Disney the whole time. So I prefer them for different reasons, but my go-to snack is always gonna be a corn dog. I love hot dogs. I love corn dogs. People really like the turkey legs, but the thought of tendons really grosses me out. And I don't wanna walk around with a big thing. Like I'll get, like I'll break out if I eat that basically because it'll get all over my face because I'm not, like, I'm not the neatest eater, okay? There's always crumbs in my tallies and, like, but a spicy corn dog from Disneyland. And I got a corn dog at Disney World and I, oh, and also their chili dogs. But I hope to eventually go back to Disney World or Disneyland again and experience it because I miss it there and I miss the rides and they changed California Screamin'. That is the last of my this video. Thank you guys so much. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram because I'll post once in a while and be like, hey, I'm making an Ask Gloria video, ask me questions and stuff. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.